what is going on everyone and welcome back to the channel welcome to another video pretty special video and a video i didn't think i would actually get to make but we have crossed the 10,000 subscriber mark yes the channel has crossed the 10,000 subscriber mark and uh it's an amazing number for me and it it happened almost three years to the day since i uploaded my first video three years and uh, i think about two weeks since i uploaded my very first video but yeah we have crossed the 10,000 subscriber mark now for most channel or for many channels that is not a very high number i follow channels that have hundreds of thousands of subscribers so 10,000 ain't a big deal but for me as a person who didn't have any form of preparation in uh, content creation or stuff like that to be able to reach such a point with 10,000 subscribers it's something I'm still wrapping my brain around because in terms of uh, what I do for this channel in terms of filming editing thinking about uh, what I'm going to film and what I'm going to say and that's the thing I usually don't think about anything I'm going to say I just turn on the camera and blabber about about just about the thing I do every single day and uh, somehow somehow 10,000 of you and over 10,000 because it's still growing over 10,000 of you have decided to join me on this journey now I did say uh, ride with Alex because it's my journey on two wheels but honestly this channel has become something about scooters and small bore motorcycles because as my journey through the two-wheeled world progresses this is what I'm getting to this is why what I'm finding out about myself I love the big bikes and the huge power motorcycles but only as a as a treat every now and then I in terms of ownership and travel and experience and everything I really love the small bore machines like Donnie Donnie my 2021 sim symphony st 200 169 cc air-cooled motor with just 12 horsepower that has taken me outside of romania into 10 different countries and even through romania we've crossed romania either on camera or off camera in many many directions and he's been just about the most reliable and dependable vehicle i have ever owned in my life in july it's gonna be his third birthday with me so three years anniversary together so currently we are less than three years together and we have already covered a total of 44,792,000 kilometers together in terms of miles i think that's a little bit over 30,000 miles apart from regular maintenance i haven't done any proper repairs on him i changed the front brake disc once i changed the variator once and i changed the throttle body under warranty because that was a problem oh yeah and i did do the front fork twice because it started leaking first at 8,000 kilometers and then at 30,000 kilometers but that's it and we've been up the side of mountains across countries in into asia into eurasia and westwards into italy into slovenia and he's done he's cracked an iron butt i've done my first and only iron butt on this little 12 horsepower machine and uh, needless to say he holds a very very dear place in my heart and i don't think i'm gonna be getting rid of him anytime soon or ever for that matter because a scooter that's as simple as this is infinitely rebuildable infinitely fixable everything on him can be changed for a brand new part and honestly parts are available and they are not that expensive a full-blown engine rebuild complete engine rebuild and transmission rebuild is less than a thousand euros with labor still need to do a bit of work on them i mean my oxford heated grips have seen better days and they're making my gloves black on the inside uh, and also he's a little bit squiggly on the back i think i need to change just about all the bushings holding the rear suspension together but apart from that 
has been extremely reliable always starts up he's even on his original battery never changed the the engine start battery and now as many of you may know if you watched my previous video i have uh, decided to add to the fleet a zontes 350e now that doesn't mean we're gonna be taking donny out of the long distance game oh no the zontes is more of a tool is more of a workhorse because what i want to do is go to as many motorcycle events as possible and film as many first ride uh, or first ride videos or reviews or whatever i can think of filming and because i still have a full full-time regular job uh, that means I don't have an, uh, I don't have a lot of time for travel so I need something that can very very quickly get me to where I need to go and then very quickly get me back and I want to be extremely relaxed and comfortable on that thing so I'm not tired when I get there so I can film for you guys a lot of videos with a lot of scooters or motorcycles also I do still have my 1996 1100 GS BMW uh, also I am not getting rid of that bike he has been mainly reliable and he has almost hundred and ninety thousand kilometers on the clock and uh, yeah I, I thought I, I would use him for long distance trips and don't get me wrong it's it's a comfortable motorcycle but it's a big heavy bike and you can ride them for a full day but it really does take a toll on you and you really do feel it at the end of the day if you put in like five or six hundred kilometers on him in a single day uh, you really feel it you feel the weight you feel your body aching from having to maneuver uh, the the mass the huge mass he weighs over 300 kilograms as he sits without luggage on him so yeah he's a big heavy bike but he's such a lovable machine and uh, I'm not getting rid of any of him anytime soon because honestly I want to keep him for those you know weekend rides when you want to take out a motorcycle you know that motorcycle that you take out every once every one or two months for a day's ride that's what I'm keeping him for because his li he has lived a long life and he's still functioning uh, decently I have a lot of things on him that aren't a hundred percent right but he's functioning well enough that he can reliably get you down the road and I want to keep him for those weekend rides relaxation every now and then just take him out for a little small adventure maybe one or two days of adventuring you know sometimes every now and then you, you I feel the urge to get on a big motorcycle I do love my small my small bore my small engine machines my low power machines but every now and then I want to get on a big motorcycle and that big 1100 cc boxer engine that feels like a tractor like he has the torque from God to push you down the road it, it's just a feeling I do not want to get rid of completely I'm not gonna ride him a whole lot but every now and then I want to get him on I want to get on the back of him and experience that feeling again so all three machines this is the current fleet my sim symphony st200 a 1996 r1100 gs and a 2023 or 2024 2023 2024 zontes 350e this is the fleet two scooters small bore medium bore and a big bore motorcycle these machines have gotten me to the point at which i am today and these machines and a lot of hard work like teaching myself how to edit how to film and I, I can't say I've taught myself how to edit how how to film uh, I basically do it as best as I can as uh, and as best as I know how uh, but yeah it's been an interesting journey I've I've met a lot of people very interesting people on the way and uh, my my life has changed for the better with YouTube it has brought a lot of work into my life and a lot of responsibility as I'm starting to uh, to understand now because stuff is starting to come into my life that's quite interesting like come like companies contacting me to sponsor the channel to sponsor videos I still need to figure it out how exactly I'm gonna do it because I really don't want to turn this uh, this channel into something for money I started it for fun and I want to keep it for fun no matter even if I go full-time on YouTube because I still have a full-time job so 
and I will be having a full-time job for a long time from now on I have a mortgage on my house that I have to pay so uh, yeah full-time job is not going away anytime soon but in case it is going away at some point I want to maintain a hundred percent my integrity and I want to do what makes me happy and what you enjoy and you like to watch maybe that's why you came here because I don't have big sponsors telling me what to say uh, I don't have big companies uh, pushing me from behind and honestly it's probably in the land of YouTube it's kind of refreshing to somebody that somebody that actually gives you their honest to God opinion that's unfiltered and unrestricted and that's what I intend to do a hundred percent of the time and if any companies in the future want to work with me they should know that they have no say in what I'm going to say in the video about their product I call them as I see them and I am just a regular guy that loves riding everything to wheels and loves gadgets associated with everything to wheels but if you have a bad product I am gonna let my public know about that product that it's a bad product as a side note in case you're seeing the handlebars wobbling the front tire has almost 40,000 kilometers on it so yeah the front tire is a little bit uh, unbalanced and <laughs> worn out yeah i really need to change this front tire uh but it it still has a lot of tread on it the michelin still has a lot of tread so uh yeah i'm gonna keep it for uh, maybe a little bit longer because uh, tires are expensive and this thing apart from the wobbling still has a lot of grip and still does its job i am rambling on a little bit because uh like I've said, I have no idea what I was supposed to say in this video with 10,000 subscribers, but uh, yeah, you know, this is why you come here. Uh, sometimes you come from, for proper informative videos uh, where I go into depth about the technical aspects of what I'm reviewing, and sometimes I just blabber on until God knows when and make an hour long video talking about whatever runs through my head. Also, another thing that I wanted to talk about uh, in this video is the people that have helped me along the way in my three years of YouTube and in this journey up to 10,000 subscribers. First of all, my family and my close friends, of course, because uh, even when I was starting off, and even when I was just thinking about the idea of starting a YouTube channel, everybody around me was extremely supportive and they were like, just man, just go for it and see what happens. Just do it. And uh, a lot of them do follow my channel even if I do it in English and they are Romanian but of course uh, many of my friends and uh, rel relatives understand English so they follow my channel and uh, really enjoy the content and follow my journey follow along on my journey and I really want to thank them for that second of all my employer sim future mobility of Romania that imports the brands sim Zontes, Daytona and very very soon Kove. In uh, two or three months we are getting uh, three Kove motorcycles in or four Kove motorcycles in and we are gonna be the official importer in Romania for Kove and uh, I can't wait to test out door, those bikes and yes for those people that are wondering we are getting the Kove 450 rally and uh, a little birdie has told me that we are adding it to our test ride fleet so uh, I'm gonna be able to take it on a proper adventure and see what that bike is all about because like I said my employers have uh, supported me in my channel have always granted me access to all of the facilities of the company as as in the workshop to fix stuff on my machines uh, they've helped me out with parts they have helped me out with uh, our, our techs have helped me out with uh, fixing stuff on my scooter with maintaining it with doing the service work and also they have always granted me access to every single vehicle in our stock and in the showroom to film and do whatever I want with it and have fun with it and film it for you guys and edit the videos post them online and basically have content for you guys they have helped me out a lot also my fellow youtuber 
Marius of Bucharest Bike Traffic who doesn't need any more presentations for those of you ha that have watched my series of uh, going to Eurasia to through Turkey, Georgia and Armenia but he has helped me out a lot in growing the channel and telling me, giving me pointers about uh, videos, about statistics and about how to have fun on YouTube. That's the main thing. You gotta have fun on YouTube because if you're not having fun, then it just becomes a regular stinky job and uh, I don't want to do that. This is like this is like a hobby for me. YouTubing is like a hobby for me and he has taught me and shown me how to make it fun and how to make it enjoyable and slowly but surely how to make it pay for itself because as you know road tripping isn't cheap. Hotels aren't cheap, fuel isn't cheap but he has given me a few pointers on how to get my channel off the ground and uh, make it start paying for itself. And uh, even though we talk a lot of shit about each other, uh, I guess I can actually call him one of my closest friends because he is a very, very close friend. I've been to his house, I met his wife and child. Even though we talk a lot of shit about each other, uh, he is one of my closest friends and I really hope I get to road trip with him again. Something crazy, something stupid, something idiotic like we did the trip to Turkey and Georgia and Armenia. Who knows what the future holds, but we'll see. We'll see what we can do in the future. Also, very, very recently, uh, a channel that I have seen a couple of videos a long time ago, about, I don't know, a year ago or half a year ago, and I added those videos to my Watch Later uh, playlist and I didn't ever get around to watching them, has actually, he has found me back and messaged me. Uh, that is Quasi Motard from Texas, I think he is if I'm not mistaken, because I haven't got a chance to watch his uh, full library of, vi of videos. I don't have that kind of time. But he has thoroughly enjoyed my Eurasia trip and I am currently what I would call binge watching, as in watching a video a day of his 2023 coverage of the scooter cannonball in the USA. That is an event I am dying to do and I am and I hopefully hopefully maybe in the future I can do it it's gonna take a lot of logistics but somehow I am planning to actually do it I don't know when I don't know how but by hook or by crook I am gonna do it and also I want to thank him because he actually made a video talking about my Eurasia trip and a lot of people from his channel have come to recently to this channel and uh, apart from that trip I want to tell you guys that I have a lot of stupid adventures on little machines and I'm gonna put a, a couple of links down in the descriptions below uh, in as in video suggestions for newcomers to the channel something to watch I did a road trip on a 50 cc scooter I took Donnie uh, up to the highest point uh, highest drivable road gravel road in Romania which is an off-road track meant for off-road motorcycles of course I took Donnie to Eurasia through Turkey Georgia and Armenia that was 6,000 kilometers in 12 days also I took him to the 2022 ICMA show in Milan where in about four days riding we covered over 4,000 kilometers and I rode him around Milan so Danny has done a couple of long trips also I did an iron butt on him uh, that's part of the Eurasia road trip that was the last day what else I did take my BMW 1100 GS on a bit of an adventure up through the mountains that that got actually quite interesting uh, it's a beautiful it's a very interesting uh, video to watch and beautiful scenery uh, I've taken Donnie up into the mountains of Romania I'm gonna put a lot of video suggestions about all the dumb stuff I did oh yeah I took a ADX 125 a sim ADX 125 from work and uh, took him up a uh, logging road and that turned out quite interesting and uh, that's the ADX 125 is one of the the best small bore scooters uh, for long distance road tripping that I think exists and it's a shame for you for you viewers from the United States it's a shame you guys don't get it there because that would be a perfect machine for the scooter cannonball 
I mean with a 15 liter fuel tank I think that's something like three or four gallons I don't know exactly but it's 15 liters the thing is it can get about 600 kilometers of range and I think that is somewhere close to 4, 400 miles of range on just its regular tank that the scooter comes with so yeah that that was an interesting ride and something you definitely is definitely worthwhile to watch so thank you Bucharest bike traffic Marius and thank you Quasimotard for the shout out uh, you have actually Quasimotard you have actually pushed me over the 10,000 uh, subscriber mark I was at 9900 and I was ex growing like 20 15 20 a day and then you posted a video talking about my channel and the next day I was over 10,000 so really thank you and I hope hope one day maybe you'll come over here to Europe or I'll get to, to get over to uh, the States and maybe we can ride together do a bit of a road trip together that would be absolutely awesome and uh, maybe it's a possibility in the future and I I'm keeping it in the cards now my brain my crazy little knucklehead brain is definitely cooking up a lot of stuff in there but you know from idea to reality it usually takes a lot of work and mainly a lot of money because that's the problem money uh, but yeah I am um, I am getting I am starting to talk to a couple of companies about maybe supporting the channel and maybe doing something more interesting with this channel than just me riding around the city of Bucharest because I'm an adventurer at heart and I want to ride as far as possible and do stupid stuff all the time to be perfectly honest with you guys and uh, like riding now this is just a Sunday I took Donnie out for a little bit of a ride to enjoy the scenery and enjoy the good weather that we are having it is currently 26 degrees outside or in Fahrenheit about 80 70 something 75 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit uh, yeah it's beautiful riding weather and uh, I'm just enjoying my Sunday out and about with my little scooter that I have covered in terms of kilometers one and a half times around the globe but yeah about future plans I'm gonna let you guys know as soon as things are a hundred percent sure because I don't want to over promise stuff and under deliver I'm, I mainly like to give you guys surprises so uh, I'm not gonna tell you just about all my future plans one thing that is 100% sure is there is a fourth scooter coming to the channel now he's not gonna be permanent on the channel but he is my first loaner bike for review from a different company and from a diff different dealer so not something I took from work a different dealer saw my video on YouTube and contacted me and said well actually when I say contacted me Marius from Bucharest bike traffic put in a good word for me let's not uh, mess around but yeah put in, put in a good word for me and uh, we are getting a new a new scooter on the channel that I will be thoroughly putting it through its paces I'm not gonna tell you from what manufacturer it is or what model but a lot of people have asked me to give my opinions on this machine and I have never ever ever ridden it before in my life and now I get to ride it for a full week take it to work every day and then road trip it so it's gonna be an interesting time anyway guys lastly but not least I want to thank my members that are currently active on the channel and past members that have uh, have uh, decided to revoke their subscription I thank you all for the donations and for the help in growing this channel and funding this channel because slowly but surely this channel is starting to require investment for it to bring more I don't know versatile content bigger trips more interesting stuff dumber shit I do and uh, yeah people that choose every month to give one or two euros to this channel to this cause I really thank you guys and uh, I appreciate the hell out of you for taking money out of your own pocket to fund this 
stupidity and craziness that is called ride with Alex and Donnie. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Thank you guys and also in uh, hindsight, thank you to all my future members that decide to become members of this channel. Until next time guys, I'm gonna leave you with a bit of a montage about everything that has gone around here, all the highlights of the past, uh, of the past three years. And uh, yeah, hope to see you guys in future videos. Until next time, take care out there everyone and ride safe. Bye!